Hi everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial. My name is Abdi for AS Art 3D and Motion Graphics. Today I'm going to show you how you can create an animation like this to reveal a shape, a logo or whatever you wish with this effect and following the path of your shape. So let me just jump into that and create my new composition. So I'm going to call that set B and we have 1920 by 1080 25 frames per second and 250 frames which are 10 seconds in that case and hit ok then create a background which is a black solid and then just name them as I go and I need a text here I'm gonna use just number 8 and if you select your shape and hold down control key and double click on your pan behind tool it will center the anchor point just right in the middle of your of your shape so select the selection tool on control home to center your shape into your comp now select the text here right click and create mask from text and we can't see the mask here the outer one is really dark here let me change the mask to to another color so the green goes to more yellowish one and those guys that guy should be brighter red and I'm gonna bring down the opacity of the shape so we can see the mask much better for now and as you see here when I select my mask you see there is a circle around one of them the other ones they don't have that and this is always the starting point of a mask so if you want to change that you select the vertex you need as a starting point and right click on that go to mask and shape path and set ver uh, set it to the first vertex and I'm gonna do that for the red one as well so right click mask and shape path and set first vertex so in that case this is my starting point for that path that one is for this one and this starting point goes for the yellow path we have the next thing I need are lights we need three lights to follow all the three paths we have so I'm gonna just name it light or one and choose a point light the color doesn't matter for now and we don't need any casting shadows so we need three lights I'm gonna select the first light and control D twice to duplicate so I have three lights in total select them all and press P for the position parameters now select your outline here and press M so we have the mask is here select the mask path for the yellow one which is the other one then control C and I want the light number one be the yellow so control V it's the outer pad here then number two is this guy here so I'm gonna select mask path control C bring it up to my light number two control V it creates automatically the keyframes for that and I do that with the next path which is the red one for my third light so now we have all the lights going along the path of our shape so now in this case they are just going one loop as one time around it and I want them to loop about two or three times so I'm gonna select all the keyframes right down here and then press C select the very last keyframe and control V so control C to copy them control V to paste them move to the last one again select the last one control V and now I'm doing the same thing here so select them all control C to copy then select the last one control V move your CTI to the last one and select the last one only control V again and now we repeat that for the third light as well so control C select the last control V move to the last one select the last one and then control V again so 
now we're going to select all these vertices here right click and rove across time so they will be in the same speed here as well and they are now looping about three times and then they stop so right now they start right, right on my path but I want them to come in and then follow the path as we have them here and I want them to come in within a second so I move my CTI to 25 frames here and select all the keyframes and move them to that point now bring your CTI back to the very first point the very first frame here and take that light and move it or push it back here like this so it comes in and goes down so. and this second one should go up there and for the third we bring that down right here and we do that at the very end of the animation as well so hold down shift and press page down to move your CTI 10 frames forward but I'm gonna move it 25 frames so 10 20 and then release shift and go five times page down one two three four five so there we go and then we want the light disappear to that to that side this guy goes down and this is going upwards that should work so they're coming in going around and then leaving the scene so select these keyframes right click and rove across time and select those rove across time again so now we have them all in the same speed okay the next thing I'm gonna create is a new solid because I'm gonna use optical flares on that to bring them little bit more life into the scene so optical flares that's all we have I'm gonna add the video copilot optical flares on that go to the options and select one of my presets which is a simple light here then bring down the brightness to about 50 and the size maybe to 36 and track the lights so now I have to set my blending mode to add and I'm gonna change the color of my lights to something more interesting so select all the lights and AA to bring up the parameters for, for your light and I'm gonna give the that one a bluish color then my second one will be some purplish light and the first one we're gonna make that yellow so let me preview that and see what it looks like so the lights coming in following the path and going out of the scene cool now the next thing we need is creating the strokes which were following the lights and this thing we're gonna create with trap code particular so create a new solid for that again color code or skip that step if you don't want to and name it TCP for trap code particular then go to effect red giant trap code trap code particular here 
and we have to change our emitter type from point to lights that will give you a note and tells you only lights will emit some particles which are named with uh, as as emitter or with emitter but we have we can change that we can go and choose name here and change emitter to light which is actually the starting name of our light here and then click ok so it will go and take all these lights and emit the particles from that light now we need about 500 particles be emitted per second and we're gonna set all these values to zero to get this straight line here and change the position subframe from linear to 10 times linear so it will create a smooth line around your shape here then the next step will be settings for the particles so the life we're going to change it to 1.2 and the size is okay on 5 actually and here we're going to change the size over life and use the preset to make them disappear over the time the same with opacity and for the colors I'm going to use from light emitter which will take the lights of our colors and use them to color the particles now switch back to our project go here and ram preview And there we go so the last thing we have to tweak and adjust is the settings for our actual shape here so for this I'm gonna bring up the opacity back to 100 but I'm gonna make it 3d and move the position about five pixels back in Z position so in this case we won't see a lot of the text at the beginning but as the, the lights are coming closer they will light up the logo automatically and then it will disappear as the lights are going away and this is a cool effect there you go this is it now you know how to create that how to create the pads or animation pads just right out of a mask and I hope this is useful to you we'll see you in the next tutorial have a good one and have a great and successful day bye bye <laughs>